Hi, on the woodpecker today? <laughs> yes, I finished the pantry. I finished the first part of the construction of our new pantry with a completed box. There's still a lot to do. As you can see, the first thing will be the bottom drawers. These are the four drawers, Franz. <laughs> but it's obvious this has to be cut straighter than that. After cutting all of them to the same width, I can see that I don't have enough wood, so I'm going to use this piece of apple tree to add some height to the drawer's front. With pieces to the same thickness as the fronts, I glue them between two fronts. Now I need to wait for the glue to dry. When it is, I sand the excess glue. Then I rip this in two in the center. Now I can cut this to the right width. This is a taste of what this will look like. But the apple wood I've added makes this too wide. So I need to remove some wood. This is perfect. It has exactly the same height as the central fixed shelf. But I want a gap. So I remove a bit of wood on the junter. With this, I'm sure everything is straight. But uh, I need more than the front, so I rip the sides from the 12 mm thick panels. In the end, I re-glue together the three leftover strips, <laughs> because I will need them. Finally, I'm ready to start cutting some dovetails. I begin with the pins of the front. When they're done, I cut the sides dovetails. There's still the back to do. I need to cut them to the right length. After changing the jig setup, I can cut all the pins of the backs. Done. It's time to cut the sides at the right length. and cut all the dovetails. Then I can try the drawers in place. But because of the fixed shelf, the sides of the last drawer are too tall. I need to remove some wood. Perfect. It all fits in place. It's time to cut the groove for all the bottoms.
When I'm done, I measure the size of the bottoms and cut them. As you can see, all the bottoms are cut from different materials. Uh, this is because they came from recycled furniture I tore apart for the wood. Now that I have all the wood for the drawers, it's time to send all the parts that will be inside them. Next, I can glue them. After checking that it's square, I can glue another one. The drawers are glued, but this is not over yet. I still need to take care of the top doors. The wood is already surfaced, but I still need to take care of the rails and styles. I also need two raised panels. I glue more planks together because I'm missing a shelf. While the glue dries, I can work on the door frame. As a matter of fact, it's pretty much like the sides. All this takes so much time that the glue is dry enough so I can sand my glue ups. After taking the panel's measurement, I can make them. The last thing to do is glue the doors. And in only nine hours, I was able to go from planks to glued doors. The next day, I finished the drawers. The first thing to do is to sand all the exterior of the drawers. But then I realized that I haven't cut any pulls yet. So, while I'm working on the drawers, the CNC is cutting my poles in another piece of apple tree. Eventually, I have all four drawers done. They stay in place because of those pieces of scrap. It's time to make the slides. The drawers will be on wooden slides. I need to drill some holes for the screws and screw them in place. Eventually, all the drawers are functional. Now, it's time to take care of the doors. The first thing to do is to cut them to the right size. Perfect. Then, I send them. Next, I mark where to drill the hinges holes. Maybe you noticed that the CNC is not making any noise and you may think 
it's not working. But <laughs> this is not the case because it's burning the date on the side of each drawer. So during this time, I can drill the edges holes. I screw one part of the hinge on the door and screw it in place. Nothing stops the doors. To fix this, I glue another piece of maple wood on the top. While the glue dries, I take care of the poles the CNC cut the day before. The bit I use doesn't cut as well as it used to. I need to remove the burn marks with rasps. Now that it's done, I need to cut the finger holes. For this, I use the jig I made several years ago. When the pool is screwed to the jig, it's time to go to the router table. In the end, I smooth the corners with rasps again. Eventually, I have the six poles, but I still need to take care of the three top shelves. Meanwhile, the process of burning the date is completed on the drawers. The next day, I give the final sanding. While I'm having fun with the linear sander, the CNC is burning the wild animals I want on my poles. I don't forget to drill the holes for the shelves. Now I'm finally ready to spray the varnish. But before I do that, I clean everything. I also take the time to figure out where I will put all those pieces after they've been sprayed. I begin with the back, because it's the biggest piece. Then the rest. Five hours later, we sand the varnish to remove all the small imperfections. I use a linear sander and René does the nooks and crannies with a scrub pad. Then I spray the second coat. 48 hours later, we pack this inside moving pads and sheets. I try to keep the packaging as rigid as possible. Next, we put wrap all around them, <laughs> because I don't want this to move during the trip to the cottage. Here it is, ready for travel. Now it's at the cottage. The first thing we do there is to make some space to work. Then we unwrap everything. When we have all the pieces, we can begin. The first thing I do is remove the blue tape that was protecting the strip locks. Then we can assemble this. <laughs> One thing I can say is that by using strip locks, assembling this is quite simple. After checking that this is really square, I can screw the back in place. Okay. 
I want the pantry to be mobile if necessary. For this, I need to put some casters. I'm not done screwing things. There are still the doors to take care of. I hadn't done anything for the pools. So now I need to take care of that. With the same jig I used to cut the finger holes, I mark where to drill the screw holes. Drill them and screw the pools in place. In a short time, all the drawers are ready. But there are still the doors pools to install. It's almost done. I only need to stick Teflon tape to help the drawers slide. I put the shelves supports. With the shelves in place, René can move everything from the old wardrobe to our new pantry. Assembling and moving everything only took a day from our stay at the cottage. But we still had the true cottage experience. It started by giving a facelift to one of my rims. But even if we had a lot of fun, we also had time to relax. What I'm the most satisfied with is our new pantry. This gives us a lot more space for everything we use over there. My pools are extraordinary. And to cap it off, in apple wood. When the doors are closed, <laughs> it's not like before. It's now impossible for a mouse to get in and walk all over our plates. The space between everything is about 1 16th. I'm particularly proud of the new joinery I tried. It's quite nice. From the inside, you can see how it's made. This was how I made our new pantry for the cottage. I hope you liked it but I'm pretty sure I even like it more than you do. And see you soon for another episode of The Woodpecker. Sorry.